Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use sign requests for signing documents. So the first thing you want to do and what we're going to do is we're going to like create our own account. So I'm going to log off from this and you want to click on the top right get started. Here you can choose the trial, try for free and here you're going to click free forever because if you're going to choose uh, like let's say account which you're going to pay you have to add a card there. So I'm going to uh, add an email address now. Here I will just simply add an email and password. Get started. Now you're just going to have to activate your account. So you will get an email to activate the account and activate it. And now when you have it, uh, you need to use sign requests to full potential. So we actually have the email on the top right. You can switch between the older design or the new design. Then you're going to find on, a, on your account on top right, my documents. So click on that. That's the same thing that you would click here, add documents. So what you need to do is to simply like add the documents to sign. So I would click here, my documents, add documents to sign. And then I'm click here, add files to sign. And you have an option to upload it from computer. So let's say I'm going to have a quote, right? And now I'm going to do what? I can simply click here and I have option to add a signature and you're going to choose who needs to sign here like me, right? But what I can do, I can simply add a contact and I can add a simply contact like this is going to be Marcus and I have email like like this and I can easily edit it and now when you're going to click here and when you're going to like upload the document you need to click here and you can authorization needs to sign signing order one text message verification if you want you can add a number then you're going to have your own email the data dojo another one a person and you can also have things like require password or a required attachments so when you have it uh, i can add one signature i can click here i can simply add another signature you can move it you can make it bigger smaller completely up to you and then you have option to also add a text and if you have to you add it or uh, myself okay and i can simply add a text here i can also click here and who can choose here again me the checkbox and then i can also add a date so these are the things that you can do right so when you click here the first thing is signature then you can simply add a text then you can add a checkbox and then a date. Now, when you already have it and when you add it, everything you need, you can also add a file here, another one on the top left. Then you can simply click sign and send. Like, of course, this is a mine account. So I can easily click here on a text and write the text. Hi there, save then I can simply add a signature and you have option to find the saved ones. You can type or you can easily draw. So I can draw a signature. And then I can also upload. Then I can click save. 
So now I can add the checkbox and I can change the date when I signed. And then when you have it and when you sign the document, what you can do is to simply easily finalize. Success, you will receive an email with the signed document. Now this is pretty much it how you can do it. Uh, when you go on the top right again, I can find account here where you can add the first name, last name, uh, then documents. This is the document that it's viewed right now, but is not signed by anyone. The templates, you can easily create templates that you would like easily upload them and send them to everyone. Billing, in billing, you have option to choose between plans. So you can have uh, the professional business or free. So you like choose the one which suits you the best. Uh, signatures, you can change signatures. This is the, the one that I saved, but of course you can choose between the draw, between the upload. That's what you can do. Then you're going to find the teams here and you have options to create a new team as a team name, website, phone number, logo. And then you're going to find also users, right? like you can also Add there. So this is pretty much it how you can use the sign request. I don't know what else to show you guys because like this is pretty much it. Now if you're gonna have any questions let me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. But that's pretty much it. So have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya. And yes, what I wanted to show you is this, is when you would go to temporary email, and I'm going to show you something that uh, like you will get the document also on your email. So I'm going to my second mail and I'm going to show you how it looks like. That's what I wanted to show you also. See? I send you a sign request and I can easily review the document. And here I got it. Signature. I can have like different signature, save, and then finalize. In the moment when I'm going to open the documents, I can see right here that it's signed. So that's pretty much it how it works. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.